Hey everyone, Brian Eckberg here, and I'm here with Jack Tretton, who's the Executive uh, VP of SCEA. Jack, uh, a lot of years went into the work, w went to work tonight. How do you feel tonight with the launch of the PlayStation 3? Uh, on normal days, I feel like I've got the coolest job in the world, but it, it's, it's a night like this when you realize that you're really a part of something that's much bigger than anything you could ever imagine. Thousands of people, billions of dollars, years worth of effort going into the PlayStation 3, and you hope that the consumers are as excited about it as you are. And I think nights like tonight are just a testament to the fact that we're clearly on the right track. Well, certainly there's a lot of people excited right now, lined up around the building. What do you think of all the people who are here and, and what they're going through to get a PlayStation 3? Well, these are our most loyal consumers. Uh, we really appreciate the effort they went through to get one, and we're going to kill ourselves to make sure that each and every person that wants a PlayStation 3 gets one. And we're not going to rest until we accomplish that goal. Uh, give us your thoughts on the launch in Japan and what, what we can expect from the launch here in the U.S., both in New York and on the West Coast here, and what we can expect in the coming weeks. Well, I mean, everybody is selfishly the biggest fan of their own market, and uh, USA and North America is the biggest market worldwide. This is where the battle will be won and lost, so this is clearly the most important launch for us of the three, and selfishly, that's my opinion, but there's no question about the fact that this is the largest. We have consumers camped out all over North America, small cities, big cities. Tonight, there are consumers somewhere in uh, North America waiting to get their hands on a PlayStation 3. Seems like everyone has an opinion on the $500 or $600 price tag. How do you go about uh, a year from now ensuring that people are still wanting to make sure that uh, people will still want to pay $500 or $600 for a PlayStation 3. Well, I think when you think about a gamer, um, they don't think in dollar terms, they think in game terms. And, and the investment in a PlayStation 3 is basically the cost of about 10 games. Mm -hmm. And if you're a hardcore consumer, you're a hardcore gamer, you're going to play this system for 10 years like you've had the opportunity to do on the PlayStation and will be able to do on the PlayStation 2, 10 game investment over a 10 year period it is a drop in the bucket. People are going to spend hours, months, years playing the PlayStation 3, and they're going to forget what they paid for it several years from now. They're going to see this investment return time and time again. And I think they've all had experiences if they bought brands other than PlayStation, where the initial investment went by the boards in less than five years. And that's that's got to be disappointing to the average consumer. Mm -hmm. Any particular games you're looking forward to personally? Well, Resistance Fall of Man is clearly the game that I'm most excited about because I think it shows off the technology and the promise of the PlayStation 3 better than anything else. But I'm also a big sports fan, and I've seen you know sports gaming go from little stick figures to now where you know you, you just you see the sweat coming off the player, and it's in full 1080p. And I, and I think it's as close to reality as you're ever going to get. Cool, Jack. Thanks so much. Appreciate My it. My pleasure. Thank you for coming.